When most attacks are executed, the game takes a number between the minimum and maximum damage and selects that to be the damage dealt by the attack. Every number should have an equal chance of being selected. However, in the first three games, this isn't always how damage is calculated. Some, but not all, area attacks use a different calculation. There isn't a name for this in-game, so I am going to call it proximity-based damage. In this footage, you can see that a level 3 artillery tower is guaranteed to kill the 56 HP bandits in the center of the explosion. Guaranteed. The enemies who are not at the center take less damage. This is because the damage dealt is based on how close the enemy is to the center of the explosion. The damage is not random at all. The maximum damage listed for artillery is actually the damage it is guaranteed to deal to the enemies in the center of the explosion. Naturally, the minimum damage is the amount that enemies take when they're at the very edge of the AoE. You can see that a Big Bertha always kills bandits even at the edge of its explosion AoE because its minimum damage is 55. Since a proximity based calculation can only work for area damage, this is the only time you'll see this formula used. However, it is crucial to remember that not all area damage is like this. It's not that all explosive damage automatically uses this calculation. Rather, it's something you just have to know on a case-by-case -case basis. The attacks that use this calculation are the basic attacks for all artillery towers in the first three games, Cluster Bombs, Shrapnel Shot, Swamp Thing's Projectiles, and Goblin Sapper's Projectiles. But things like Missiles, Area Attacks and Vengeance, and any other attacks not mentioned are going to use the normal damage formula instead. There's a lot more to say about this topic, but any more in this video and I think some heads are going to explode.